Hello and welcome back to the Cove with more EU4 Relentless Push East continued. Still fighting the Ottomans, though we are doing rather well. We're at 81% war score, so I think we're doing not too bad. They have very minimal manpower reserves and a reasonably low amount of manpower fielded considering they are the Ottomans. They're already down to a good half strength from what they were originally. Either way, it looks like our allies in Austria are doing some good work for us. They may not have a huge amount of uh, manpower, but they are putting it to good use. It looks like they're going to be uh, taking out a couple of their smaller stacks, which is quite nice. But while they get distracted, we're going to do a little bit of carpet sieging, work our way through a couple more forts, and uh, see what we can do. So, let's see. These troops are heading over here. We'll hopefully catch these guys out. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, get up and rolling. Alright, so, uh, one thing we should check in the near future is whether the Commonwealth has changed their opinions on giving us military access. Yeah, that could be something that is worth noting, but it looks like we're all good. Uh, you never know when you reload a save. Uh, sometimes the game decides to do things that it otherwise wasn't going to. Uh, so yeah, best to be sure. Uh, let's move a couple of troops over here and there, and then there are leftovers. Let's go... Uh, we'll collect them and them, and we're going to continue our carpet sieging of their core land, which is very nice. Alright, so that's that. We've got the fort. That should be all A-OK. -okay. These guys are chilled out at the moment it seems um hmm that's why we just make our way over here just in case they do have a large stack that i do not know about uh yeah i guess that is technically possible somewhere but uh we'll just have to keep a careful eye out uh as for the ottomans let's see anyone up near our land not really yeah they're very few and far between very uh spread out so I don't think they're going to be too much of a trouble. But either way, uh, we'll leave that be. Let's go ahead and, you know what, let's go for a barrage. Let's speed up that uh, siege over here and there. Making short work is uh, the best thing for us. In fact, there we go. We'll empty out our uh, military power pool just to uh, see what we can get done. And though apparently we've just lost an Inquisitor. Oh, well, that is a shame. He was a good advisor. And he helped secure our nation. But either way, we now, like in all things, move on. Let's see, what have we got? Unrest, inflation reduction, or stability cost? You know what? I think we go for this, some inflation reduction. I don't think that's a bad thing. We're probably going to end up uh, getting a little bit more, given we have, uh, we're have. we going to be piecing out the Ottomans at some point. Uh, so that's probably going to hurt our inflation. Uh, we... I have set up a peace deal between videos. I did a little bit of a look. We're not going to spend any uh, power on expanding no guy at this stage. We'll take the land that we need as well as uh, what we'll have claims on to finish our missions. And then we're also going to buff up Georgia while taking every single penny and uh, war reparations from the Ottomans. So that should be good. Alright, uh, but you know what? We still have cash. So let's go ahead and keep on investing in our economy. I think 0.63 is pretty good for a manufactory, so we'll go ahead and buy that. And, uh, yeah, the rest we'll just uh, go ahead and wait on. Ooh, hello. Uh, 25,000 Ottomans. Can we catch you? Not quite, but we do have reinforcements, so let's send them down as well. Make sure that that is a crushing defeat. Uh, let's see, everybody else is doing a good job with the carpet sieging, so that's not an issue. I don't know if we're going to catch them, though. Ooh, 46,000 into dry lands. Okay, well, you know what? We'll let them come by and uh, reinforce a bit. And just to make sure, let's get a little bit of extra, uh, a little bit of extra support just in case. Yeah, I think that's probably advisable. Uh, there's, oop, there is one siege over. There goes Ardalan. Looks like... Alcarac, have we got? Okay, we have military access through the Mamluks. Uh, let's go ahead and... Can we chase them down? No. 
Alright, but let's go ahead and uh, focus in on catching those troops if we can. And these guys can march through here and onto that siege there. That'll do rather nicely. Alright, that is good. Alright, more occupations for us. That is excellent. Uh, we'll take a little bit of... I guess we can leave a little bit of time for a bit of looting, I suppose. Oh, okay, hang on a second. It looks like the Ottomans are changing their tune. Let's go ahead and... Uh... You, my friend, need to deal with that. Uh, you all need to move into some degree of safety. Uh, let's march. What have we got? Wait, no ca Oh, no, we do have some cannons over here. Alright, well, let's quickly get you over there just to make sure. And then everybody else. Uh, let's select all of you that have already uh, got sieges. Let's move you to this fort. We're going to race you up over here to hopefully intercept and or scare them away. Yeah, that's going to be the goal. We don't want to lose any one of our uh, small stacks there unnecessarily. But again, we still want to get the uh, occupations if possible, so just be careful. Looks like we did take that victory over here, so that's nice. Uh, we can... Hmm. You know what? I think we move over here and take this siege. As much as I do want to destroy that 10 stack, if we take here and the, over there, uh, we should be able to uh, slow their escape. Yeah, we'll have them caught by the rest of our forts, so if we can take this one, we know where they have to go through. Alright, all of these guys, they're heading in over onto this fight as well, so that is excellent. Let's just double check. 15th and the 17th. We do outnumber them. We have decent generals as well. Yeah, not quite as good as theirs, but it'll be fine. And uh, I think that'll do. Alright, let's make sure that we merge those guys. They're making their way up over here. It looks like they don't like the fact that we have uh, taken so many of their provinces away from them. Yeah, Austria is now standing on some of their forts. That's very good to see. Yeah, down to 120,000. Good, good, good. Uh, let's go... Hang on a second. Yeah, let's just make sure that everyone is piling on in. Looks like they are sending that 20,000 stack back over the crossing, which is okay by me. In fact, it's uh, somewhat preferred. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just zip over here and catch them out, either in the woods or the grasslands. That'll be fine. Uh, well, if that is also the case, we can probably... Actually, hang on a second. Let's just check for a fort down here. It does not appear to be a fort. Uh, wait a second. Wrong buttons. Okay, there's one here, one there, but both of that is in Mamluk territory. Okay, so let's go... Send one over here. The other one can go back over there. That'll be fine. Our Siege of Astrakhan is over, so we have taken that. So now we can probably be able to piece out. Or at least uh, we won't have that uh, minus 1,000 reasons. Okay, two more reasons and we can be done with this war and we don't need to wait around. So you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and... I'm tempted to fight these guys just for a little bit of extra war score. And so we may as well. We'll fight that. Uh, these guys we can happily send over to other provinces... These guys can go ahead and uh, race elsewhere. Yeah, I think this is... As soon as we take another fort, we should be set. Uh, either that or... Um, yeah, either that or uh, another battle should be enough. And uh, that's not what I was looking for. Just trying to change the Paradox Christmas music. Alright, there we are. All right, where were we? Okay, chasing enemies, making good on sieges, taking good occupations. There goes one more siege. I believe that'll be about it. 93% war score is enough for a 100% peace deal. 
that sounds pretty good to me. So we're not going to get rid of their reliance with Kilwa or Hormuz. Uh, it'll just be what it is. We are taking five short of 5,000 ducats and we will receive 2,760 of them. That is quite nice. 0.28 inflation, a little bit of aggressive expansion, a bunch of prestige. Uh, in fact, you know what? 25 prestige. Can we go ahead and spend some of that? Let's see. Anything we can do. You know what? Let's go ahead and placate Norway just once, just for good measure. And uh, that will... Oh, whoops. I was looking at legitimacy. My bad, but either way, not the end of the world. Let's go ahead and send that demand. Hip hip huzzah. That is the first Russian crusade against the Ottomans. And it was uh, rather good. So if we have a bit of a look here. We did lose a few troops. Yeah. A total of uh, 382,000 across all of our allies. But if you look at the Ottomans... Over half a million lost. Yeah, that is uh, that is very, very bad for them. But either way, let's go ahead and uh, look after things. So, uh, let's take our armies. Uh, let's send you up over there. We'll send you also as well to the same location because you were all part of the same group. These fellows, let's march on up over there. These guys can chill out pretty much where they are already. Uh, let's see, what about our others? You two, let's march up over here. In fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and march all the way up over there. Cut through the Commonwealth's land since we are black flagged. And same for you all as well. Alright, so I think that's good. No one else that I really need to worry about. Alright, excellent. So... Here goes a mission fulfilled. We can now say that we have claimed the steps. That is very nice. Extra missionary strength and local unrest reduction is very good. Permanent claims on a few areas. We go ahead and take those. And then we have subjugate Crimea, which is now all well and good. So that'll give us tolerance of the true faith, more missionary strength and all that. And consolidating the steps. So now more missionary strength and less unrest. Okay, excellent. So, that is all of that. That should mean that when we do convert, that should be incredibly quick. Um, I do say, though, we should... Do we not need to convert? No, it's already orthodox. Hmm. I think we may have just finished a state agenda as well. So, what do we need? Uh, we need this one here is owned by a country of the orthodox faith. And we'll lose five years of separatism. Oh, okay, cool. Well, uh, we did that rather easily. That's very nice. Okay, so I guess we'll have to call that up. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Although, before we do, let's just double check our war exhaustion. Sitting at 1.13. It's sticking down relatively fast. Uh, but I think we still go ahead and uh, just bite the bullet. It's only a 3.4% increase to our core creation cost, which, uh, yeah, realistically is not that bad. Uh, so what we will do, though, is check out... We have Sevastopol, Astrakhan, and... Uh, whatever that place is. Yeah, we won't convert them just yet. I don't think it's really going to be too bad. Uh, we'll leave Astrakhan, but we'll, uh, we'll start coring up the rest. So let's go ahead and uh, yeah, we'll leave Astrakhan. Then we can core here, here, and here. We can also core all of you. And then the rest of these were our partially cored states that we were using uh, for the local defensiveness edict. Uh, so... Yeah, I do not believe that we had fully cored. No, we had not. So... Uh, and unless there is something of note, like a trade node, which it does look like there is an estuary, so I suppose that is worthwhile. We'll leave that one. Um, outside of that, what else did we have? We had up over here. Let's go ahead and make that a territory once more. That'll be fine. Uh, yep, yeah, that'll be all good. 
And then, let's see, was there anywhere else that we had done this? I think it was up over towards Delhi. Yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and change that from a state to a territory. It'll cost us a little bit of money, but again, it's not that big of a deal. Not when it's a little bit of uh, cash. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Uh, we'll let that be. I think that's all that we really needed to worry about. Uh, but we now do have a whole bunch of money, so let's have a look. We can upgrade to centers of trade, but we can go for great projects. Uh, let's see. Hang on a second. Could go to level two, better defensiveness and manpower for the province. Go for some cheaper troops in the long run. Some orthodox icons will yield supplementary bonuses. Does sound rather nice. And a little bit of a cost reduction as well for our real... Uh, advisors with our rulers religion what else is there we're not going to do that a kremlin over here project time upgrades garrison army damage can be increased and then oh religious unity uh extra yeah an extra 50 percent religious unity whoa that is particularly nice uh, well, I think we leave that for now. That's uh, not the end of the world. Um, yeah, we're doing pretty well. So you know what? Let's just go for some world trade centers. Uh, that is going to be the best thing for us, I dare say. Not just for our economy, but also embracing institutions. Uh, so let's see. We have a level two. We can make that a level three for just over a thousand ducats. Sure, we'll pick that up. Uh, so we'll get that done. Uh, that'll be good for the Baltic control. And then... What else have we got? Could do this for Novgorod as well. I guess that's probably not the worst idea. Uh, how much control? 72%? Yeah, I don't see reasons not to. So let's just go ahead and upgrade those. That'll be fine. And then we still have another 800 ducats, so we can put that money in towards uh, production. Oh, wow. 0.25 on a workshop? That is insanely good. Yeah, we'll absolutely go for those. Taxation, let's do a couple of 0.07. And... Anything else worth noting? We can upgrade for some more manpower. We are about 70,000 down, so it's not exactly the worst idea. We can go by increase. We need 291, and unless we're in Moscow. Yeah, all right, we'll pick that up. Uh, that'll be fine, but uh, that'll be A-OK. -okay. There goes that separatism in the province, which is very, very nice. So uh, that unrest there is quite, quite mm. acceptable. A little bit of overextension adding to our unrest, but that'll disappear soon enough. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, really. Alright, so, Holy War against Gazik Mook. Uh, that's fine. Defender of the Faith against them as well. Uh, defend a country over religion. I don't think we really need to worry about that. Um, questions. Commonwealth, how are you guys doing right now? You know, you're looking a little beat up. You're not very strong, and we have a good deal of uh, troops in the area. We don't have a truce. Hmm. What would happen if we decided to attack you guys? Burgundy, France, Bremen, and Stettin? Yikes. Yeah, but we could call in Sweden and Austria. We would outnumber all of them in the long run, so we could beat up France again for some more money... Burgundy might be a little bit of a pain. Stettins and Bremen are both fairly uh, non-negotiable. Uh, sorry, fairly negligible. We also do have our border conflict for less aggressive expansion and uh, cost. That is actually remarkably nice. Hang on a second. We're going to have to figure this out. So that's like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. A good 22 provinces. Is that what I see here? 1, 2, 3.
Yeah, so it's about the same, yeah, roughly the same. I just haven't counted them all out quite properly. Uh, but that's not bad. All right, we'd also have access potentially to some of these because of the uh, ocean tile. And... That would be very nice. Either that or we could take some of our known claims. Or we could even go for 100% for all provinces. Uh, so many decisions. So many decisions. But I think this uh, this border friction could be the best thing for us. Less aggressive expansion. Better prestige. It's only for these uh for these provinces that we have access to, like Bessarabia and whatever else. But if we have a look, that's... Uh, let's see. 9% there for war score cost for that alone. You can only imagine how much it would cost us if we were to go the whole way around. So th there's still many, many wars left with the Commonwealth that we need to consume. So I think it's probably worthwhile. And so given that we do have a that border friction uh, CB. I think it's worth using. Uh, Hungary, Ottomans, Commonwealth, and Moldavia. Or oh, Moldavia. Um, hmm. Like, there's more claims here than we'll ever have to poke a stick at. So, let's see. Yeah, if we needed to get another claim, it would cost us at least 72 spy network, which is kind of ridiculous. I think we just go ahead and uh, take what we can. We'll already have a bunch of claims on a whole bunch of our borderlands as well, so we can take away... Yeah, I think we try and take away more of the coast from the Commonwealth. We'll line up our borders with the Ottomans so we can get on to Constantinople. Yep, yeah, okay, that's what we are going to do. We're going to cause havoc for them. Alright, but first things first, it looks like uh, favours for soldiers from Austria. They need a little bit of manpower. Honestly... I don't normally uh, give favours to Austria, but since we're going to call on them for the next war, we may as well help them out. Uh, so that'll give them a little bit of manpower. Uh, we still have spy network with the Ottomans, so let's go ahead and use up what we've got. We could sabotage the recruitment again for another five years. I think that is appropriate. Let's go ahead and get that done. Yeah, we're going to keep their manpower nice and low. Uh, so, if we just double check too, now that we've pieced on out, let's go with uh, rivals, Ottomans, let's see, uh, wait a second, we wanted our score comparison, there it is, uh, so if we check out their admin rating, they're now at uh, 0.18 for loans, that means they're holding on to 9 loans right now, which is absolutely punishing, yeah, they are, they are not going to be doing well economically for quite some time. In fact, uh, that might really break them. So we really do want to progress as far as we can. But again, we don't want them to be expanding. We need to make sure that they uh, don't get their power back. Alright, so it looks like we've also got some favours with Norway and Austria. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and cash in some of those. Let's buff up our trust with Austria once more. Uh, just to make sure. Let's go with... Uh, trade favours for trust. We'll move that up as far as we can. And then uh, in a couple of days we'll trade our favours with Norway as well. They're fairly trusting of us actually. That's uh, kind of surprising. So you know what? Let's go ahead and cancel our our diplomat there. We don't need any more, I dare say. And then, yeah, we can't trade in any more, so that now means we are at 95 trust. That's pretty good if you ask me, so that'll be A-OK. -okay. Uh, that means they shouldn't be trying to get away from us anytime soon. Uh, yeah, trust towards Russia is minus 18%. The opinion is also another minus 14. Yeah, we're doing really, really well with these guys. Uh, so, let's see. Is there anything we can do to help them out? I suppose we can pay off their debt. That's fairly easy. 51 ducats is not much to us. And we could probably do that for Georgia as well. We did we did give them a little bit of trouble. Yeah, 181 ducats. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that when we have the money. Uh, but we were handing off a lot of forts, so they were paying for the maintenance. So it's only our... 
It makes us look good when we pay off their debts that we kind of forced them to accrue. But either way, uh, let's go ahead and start building our spy network against the Commonwealth. That'll be very nice. Uh, we don't need... Oh, hang on a second. Where is this? Ruthenian. Okay, Nikolov. Ah, is this the state that we were looking at before with the estuary? Yes, it was. All right, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and core all of these. That'll be fine. Uh, that'll also give us a little bit better power in the Crimea trade node. In fact, uh, all that we really need to do is uh, take away one more harbour, maybe two, and we will then have a very solid amount of power in this area. Uh, but again, when we... When we uh, shuffle down and uh, take Constantinople from the Ottomans, and we do that as well, I think uh, that will pretty much be one of the yeah, one of the deciding factors that they will never return. Of course, they do have the Delta here, so they do still get plenty of trade power, but taking away those two, well, even Constantinople alone, will uh, guarantee their, their inevitable defeat. All right, so uh, diplomats, let's see. We've got the Commonwealth... We'll be fighting them. They're allied with France, Bremen, and Stettin. Oh. What happened to Burgundy? I could have sworn Burgundy was going to join on in. They are. Alright, why on earth do you not show? Uh, Burgundy, Burgundy, what have we got? Um, Enemies and rivals with France... Hmm. Ella to Trier, Tuscany and Berg. Royal marriages. Guaranteeing the independence of Switzerland and Mulhouse. Huh. I have no idea why you are so adamant in defending the Commonwealth. Oh, wait a second. Are they the defender of the faith? That is a good question. Uh, let's see. Catholic, yes. Is there a way we can see? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let's check out their prestige. Does that say? Yeah, here it is. Defender of the Faith. Okay. So that's why these guys are getting involved. That is That makes a bit more sense. Uh, but either way, let's go ahead and start spying on these guys as well. Uh, if we're going to have to go to war with them, we may as well take all the benefits we can get our hands on. Uh, so Burgundy and France... And then the Commonwealth. Uh, France is... Yeah, they're reasonably strong. But again, I think we're in a pretty good position right now. So that'll be fine. Uh, looks like they're fighting people. You know what? I'll happily give them access. Uh, if we can keep around some of the smaller people for a little while, that's probably to our advantage. So we'll let that be. Alright. Uh, Troop-wise, let's go and... Hmm. We're getting 2,000 a month. We're, we have our icon of St. Michael for the next 14 years. Uh, how can we fix up this situation a little bit better? Hmm. Not really sure, but let's go... Actually, let's go ahead and check out our map mode for their forts. Looks like... We've taken all of the ones on the border, so that's going to be particularly nice. Yeah, this guy's going to be fairly easy to push over, which is really, really good to see. Alright, so, um... Let's go... Send this 30 stack up over here. Send this 38 stack up over there. Uh, these guys, they're heading... Move up over there instead, that should be fine. And then everybody else is still figuring out where they're going. Alright, so let's speed up some time. And uh, yeah, we'll get to work where we can. Alright, Pretender Rebels have risen, but they are for Georgia. Georgia has no troops, so you know what? Maybe we should go ahead and... Actually, no, we can't help them out. Oh, and... Uh, oh, wait a second. I thought I'd handed this land off to uh, to Georgia. That is my bad. Let's stop coring that. That is not a necessity. That is very much uh, not what I planned on doing. And let's go ahead and hand this off to 
Georgia. So let's go Grand Provinces. Let's go here and here. And then... Wait a second. Sure, I guess we have to go one at a time. That's fine. I uh, was hoping that we could uh, shift and click, but apparently not. Alright, so that'll get that sorted. That'll give them a little bit of uh, better economy, manpower, and all that jazz. Uh, so that's fine. We've got all of these. Uh, we have Astrakhan as well, which we are converting, which is nice. That should take us till the end of the year, and that'll all be sorted. So that's also very nicely uh, out of the way. Expensive edicts for encourage development is fine. Let's go ahead and switch to none for now. And that looks like that's our only expensive edict. And then... Oh, that's right. Georgia. We were going to pay off their debts once we had 180 ducats. So let's go ahead and uh, do that now since we have the cash. Make sure that they can build up to their full strength, if at all possible. Alright. Alright. Well, uh, looks like we have... I'm going to claim that some land is ours. Hang on a second. Oh, we had some temporary claims on the Ottomans. Oh, that's a little bit of a disappointment. Huh. That is kind of annoying. Uh, let's see, how much would that cost to get back? 72? Aye, 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 that is expensive. Yeah, it's just owning all of this is going to be very costly. So, you know what? Uh, let's cancel our favor growth with Austria for now. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. Cancel that. We'll keep that going for now. Uh, but we will, because we should be able to call them in against these guys. Austria wants a land, but we don't have the 10 favors. Yeah, we need to make sure that we get up to 10 favors. That'll only take us a couple of months. Uh, but once we have the 10 that are required, we will not be handing land off the, to the Commonwealth. Oh, and Sweden is facing Denmark. They're fighting Brandenburg, Dithmarschen. Ah. I don't really want to help them. Um... Ah, uh, you know what? We're not going to lose all the prestige and the reputation and everything that comes with it. Although, you know, technically speaking, we could always just drop them as an ally and then just start to consume them ourselves in five years' time. We could possibly do that. That way we could eat these guys, finish up another mission, get more control of the trade node as well. Um... Sweden, have you run your course? I feel like you have. Wait a second, let's just double check and make sure. Yeah, we're already paying one too many for our relationships, so Sweden's not exactly the, uh, the greatest. Uh, we're still well ahead of time on tech. Hmm. Not getting any ideas for a while either, though. Uh, Mission-wise, that would allow us to conquer Finland and gain some bonuses for a few years. I think Sweden might actually be, uh, be coming to a close. Yeah, not to mention we do need to take this land back from them anyway, and I don't see them willing, willingly handing that over. Uh, let's see, return a core province. We don't have any that are claimed as cores. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do it any other way. You know what? I'm sorry, guys. You've just started a war that you may not wish to have uh, started. So we're going to decline. Yeah, we'll lose a little bit of Diplo rep and whatever have you. But, you know, it just is what it is. All right. Can't be bothered getting into one more war just yet at this stage. But either way, in the meantime, we can still see some land and all. So let's go ahead and uh, shore up our control of our nation. Uh, in fact... Looks like we lost a little bit of monthly autonomy. Ah, sorry. Reform growth progress. I think that's because we dropped below 80. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Uh, so that'll help us out a little bit. Some extra bonuses are always nice. Uh, we also do have government interactions like the... Oh, less autonomy? Yes. Let's go ahead and do that. 
Uh, let's just double check that we have called up all of the land that we care about. Uh, this is a... An Emporium. That is our land, so we do want to call this at some point. Yeah, the only two provinces are held by no guy. Yeah, I think we actually make this a core. Yeah, okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to state it. Although... Hang on a second, what's going on here? Why can we not do this? Um, working on a missionary. Ah, we're coring up land as it stands. Okay, so you know what, we'll just uh, give it a little bit of time and we'll hold off on that government interaction. We still have a couple of months before we're going to uh, cap out there, so that'll be fine. But at least if we can make this estate before we use that ability, we'll get some bonus, uh, some, uh, some nice little bonuses there to our uh, autonomy. All right, so let's see. We'll have about 90,000 troops over here. Let's take these troops up over there. That should make it for another 90. Let's move up over... Let's just move up over here, and then we'll start uh, working our way across and uh, carpet sieging these guys down. All right, Bengals doing things. Don't really care about that. These guys, we need to make a single cohesive unit. All right, so I think we just wait until we have the 10 favors necessary to call on in Austria, and uh, then we'll declare on the Commonwealth as well. All right, what have we got here? Looks like a generation of cowards is causing issues for our manpower. We could lose 41,000. Ouch, or lose five discipline. Well, because we have some uh, fantastic traits, uh, because we have, what is this, strict uh, we will, a life in the army will harden them again, lose five military power, and, uh, sort that out. Okay. Well and truly worth it. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, and you know what? We're over time again. Okay, so I guess I got a little distracted, but that's okay. We'll come back in the next one with our war against the Commonwealth, and, uh, start to consume all of the land around them, and I think that should be fairly good. So if you do want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content, and I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan, signing out.